What is up everyone? JD here. I hope you're all doing well today. Today I'm really excited to bring you my top pocket knives of the week. We will go through what I carried this past week, talk a little bit about them so you get an update between the initial review, long-term review, or perhaps an update since the long-term review, and just letting you know why it's why I like the knife and uh, hopefully that's helping you if you're interested. Maybe you're looking at this knife for the first time and you're wondering how I've been enjoying it over a longer period. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. Monday I went with the Monday Blues and carried my Demco AD 20.5. This one here is, I believe it was the DLT exclusive. It came with the green Grivery scales and the coated Austin A blade steel. And I upgraded to a set of Arctic Storm Fat Carbon scales with the matching Arctic Storm Fat Carbon backspacer, which I really think looks good. I like where you can kind of see the end cuts there. I did pick up a pre-anodized Lynch Northwest deep carry pocket clip, and I have a set of skiff bearings in the pivot, making it very, very smooth. I have only maintained the edge on this Austin A. It has performed extremely well. This is a nice geometry for an EDC. I'm using this to get into packages, open some mail, and just other light random cutting duties with this knife. And it's really nice. Fits well in hand. I mean, it completely full four finger grip fits. I have a four finger choil if I need to choke up. So if I'm doing anything out on the tip, I can do that. And then again, I can choke way up to get into any type of draw cuts and utility cuts. And that works really, really well. This is just such a great knife. And I've seen where some of the D2 steel ones that are on Knife Center during the holidays have been on sale for 125. It's a really great knife. I know Austin A is not the most desirable steel and that for 150 it's, you know, that's there's other steels out there that you might like a little bit more, Nitro V, 14C28N, but you're getting those typically on either a button lock or a liner lock. This one being that it's made in Taiwan which is pretty close to US production. And you're getting the shark lock on here, which is fully ambidextrous and a very strong lock because it locks up with 100% of the tang of the blade. So you have that strength in hand. That's just some of the reasons why I really like this knife. Very easy to use, great blade shape, good geometry, uh, good heat treat, just really a solid knife that I very much like. So that was what was in the pocket on Monday. On Tuesday, I went with a Titanium Tuesday carry, and I brought out the Kung Wu Tao. Really enjoying this. Such a fascinating knife at the price point. You're getting M390 at a very acceptable heat treat. I want to say it's 63, if I remember correctly. Really nice peel ply texturing here, so it's very grippy on the flat titanium scales. Beautiful milling done all around the bottom here. It looks really, really good. Nice backspacer. You're getting a little pop of color here with the lanyard. My only complaint about this is it is just not a very good pocket clip. It actually wedges in my jeans. So I'm having to fight to pull it out of pocket. And this is very pokey in hand when you're holding it and it's pushing out. So I'm researching some options and I'll share those when I get them. You get a nice Timascus um, pivot collar here. It looks really well in place with the light. Hard to get it to show up because it's not reflecting back but it's really a nice color it's a little bit of a thinner knife but very comfortable i actually prefer to hold it in this grip because i find when i'm going to do my push cuts i'm putting more pressure here on the scale and less on the lock bar so that works really really good has a nice geometry it's medium i wouldn't say it's the thinnest but it's certainly not a thick ge geometry at all tall flat grind good access to the lock bar it continues to get smoother and smoother, so it's very nice and controlled on the shut. Flipper tab works well, front flipper tab works well, and again, just a clean profile in the pocket, very thin and very comfortable to use. The M390 seems to be holding up well, and because it is a satin finish, it goes straight through, and um, I'm not even sure if you can see the marks on it, but I've enjoyed using it and carrying it and the Kun Wu knives just again very fascinating and interesting to use um, especially at the price point very exciting price point on these particular knives 
On Wednesday, I was going to go with a Warncliffe Wednesday, but I decided I hadn't carried it in a little while and I wanted to, so I have my EMP EDC Nimble X with the reverse tuxedo, black wash blade, really cool looking, and this has a plain titanium scale with all blacked out hardware and backspacer. This one here, again, continues to be really comfortable. As you can see, I do fit in here. I wrote on my finger when I was working earlier. I do fit in here nicely. I am, it's a little snug, so when I come to move my finger up, it looks like I don't have a lot of space, but I am resting just inside of that spacer. But really, I have found, like most knives with the Ford Finger Troil, around the first knuckle, maybe just a little bit past that for duty, um, precision cutting or any other tasks that I would need to have out on the tip, I'm kind of angling back. And then same thing when I go to choke up, I'm actually kind of coming up over the ramp here a little bit to use that. Nice thin blade, it comes down to a nice thin edge, really thin behind the edge as well. And then it has a good geometry. The fact that they carried the jimping all the way out on this one too really helps because you do get a little bit of grip there. So you have that control. And then because of the blade shape on here, any type of draw cuts, utility cuts, things of that nature work really well with this one. The access to the lock bar is a little tight on this one because it is, again, a very thin blade, very thin pro profile. Like the towel, you have the flipper tab and you have the front flipper tab but on this one here you have the fuller so you can do like the reverse flick to kick it out from the side or you can full on spidey flick it from the hole and you also can even thumb flick it very comfortably on here so lots of action and again it has a very controlled smoothness this one here broken in a little bit more because i've had it just a little bit longer than the towel and i've carried it a little bit more than the towel but the control, I would say this one is a little bit faster to fall shut than the Tau is. But again, just a great knife. I'm really looking forward to checking out the Relative. I was not interested at all in the Nimble because it was just way too small. If you look at this knife, it actually is perfect for me, my sized hand. Whereas the actual Nimble was actually smaller than the AD 20.5. So just too small for me. But it's holding up very well. This again on the factory edge. I've only stropped this one. Same with the other two. Just dropping after I use it. Maintaining those factory edges for now. Just have not been motivated to be honest. <laughs> to sharpen those up. On Thursday I actually carried a thumb stud Thursday carry. That happens to be titanium. And I felt like it was a little bit more upscale because I did also have my company holiday celebration, end of year dinner, whatever they call it. And um, I had it actually in the organizer down in the pocket and that is going to be the Umanzan. So you guys have seen the Umanzan on the channel a lot and that is because I've really enjoyed carrying this one. I, I have removed the lanyard off here but I did keep that pin that came with the lanyard on there because I did match the RGT deep carry pocket clip to that lanyard pin. I did for now just put a little bit of silicone grease in there just to keep it from rattling a ton. It, it will rattle if you shake it a lot but just normal use moving it around in and out of the pocket you're not getting that rattle very smooth very controlled uh this one hasn't broken in as much as the Encosi has as far as being able to almost get it to drop shut and i really am not interested in tuning it anymore because i can flip it if i want to but it's really smooth and controlled, and I know that's not what Sabenzas are about. Is They're not about their false shut action. They have oversized washers in the pivot, making sure that you have complete stability in, in the pivot when you deploy the knife, when you control the uh, close the knife. Then it has a very solidly locked up frame lock here, and again, all of that intended for good looks, great ergonomics, and hard use. The edge on here has held up pretty well. I'm not sure what I cut it against, but I had to hone and strop it up today. Right around here, there was a little chip. I don't know if I got it out. Yeah, I, I feel it there still a little bit, right? Right there, right around there. So I'll mess with that a little bit more. But this to me, just... Just a classy knife, really nice and solid. It, it just feels so comfortable in hand. It has a right, the right amount of thickness through here as far as height, and then right here, the right amount of thickness, and it, it is 
a blocky feeling knife, but it is chamfered down around the edges. So I really have been enjoying that. You probably, if you've watched a few of these, have seen that that's made it in the pocket quite regularly. Last but not least, uh, for Friday, I just went with a Flipper Friday theme, and that is going to be the product. Protec Mordax. Really, I like this one a lot. This is a good Ferrum Forge design. Um, it's it's very elegant. It has the sweep up on the blade here for the drop point. It does drop, and it has a lot of cutting surface here for your push cut. So you have a lot of space here before you get into the belly to slide out. And then it has the opposing sweep down at the end. So I just think that all together it pulls together nicely very well made button lock i think protect still is the leader in the industry when it comes to button locks i have not found or felt anything else that is quite as good button lock wise plunge lock button lock wise as the protex meaning the malibu and the mordax it does feel really good in hand my only complaint is when i go to use that finger choil with the first knuckle for details it is a little bit pokey right here. And I think also too, I kind of wish that they would have angled and dropped down just a little bit there, just a little bit to have it like about that tall and have it cut like at an angle to where you could get that. I feel like if they would have done that, it actually would have been more comfortable to put the knuckle here and to put the finger over top to choke up for push cuts. But again, small complaint, it works really well. It, deploys the knife really solid i did put uh actually i'm sorry this one came from lefty edc with rocket glads in here but i did take it out and i took all of the crazy glue super glue whatever it is that he's using off and i just went with the paste loctite and it has not moved since i let it sit for two days i have patience i have a great rotation of knives to where i was fine with letting it sit to cure and it has not moved on me and i've had no issues with the centering on this knife at all pocket clip on here works really well i could have done without the branding there i think that you know they probably should have just put that on the blade somewhere if they could have a little bit smaller under the magna cut maybe um I just uh, I think it takes away a little bit from there. I like the green operator button. And again, just a great size, good geometry. It's a little bit more robust behind the edge on this knife, kind of like the Demco, but it I've had no issues with it whatsoever going, going through the material. Have not strapped this one at all. I just wanted to see how long the Magna Cut would stay sharp on that one. So I really do like that one. Let me know, what do you have in your pockets or what have you been carrying a lot lately that you've been enjoying or picked up recently? Love to see those comments down in the descriptions. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor, leave a like. Consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. I'd love to have you follow along. Thanks to everyone out there that is already subscribed and regularly leaving likes and comments. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I hope you have a fantastic week. I love you. Until next time, peace.